Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will learn about how to use an electrolytic capacitor within the multisim. As we know that nearly all electronics and electrical circuits rely on capacitor for their proper operation. And we must know about the charging and discharging phenomenon of the capacitors. So we will take our first power supply that is the DC power supply. After DC power supply we need to take our ground. After we have taken the ground we will go for our capacitor. First we will go to basic option and then we will find our electrolytic capacitor. Okay, now we can take any of the capacitor and after it we will go for our resistor. We can take any of the resistor and then we will set their values. In the last we need one multimeter for to observe the charging and discharging. Okay, now we will right click on it and we will click on rotate 90 degree clockwise. Okay, yeah, this one. Okay, now we can join them like that. Now we can change this uh, 665 to 1000 ohm or 1k resistor. We can right click on it. We can flip it uh, clockwise. Okay, and we can connect the top ends of both the resistor and capacitor with one another. Okay, after this, okay, this one and like this. So, okay, now the positive end of the multimeter must be on top side and the negative side of the multimeter must be on the bottom side of the resistor. After in the last we just uh, need one switch for to on and off the power supply. So we can take our one dip switch. Okay now we can adjust the value of capacitor as 1000 microfarad and uh, resistor is 1000 Oh, okay, so now we will run it. Double click on multimeter. Okay, uh, we can see that there is zero volt. Why it is so? Because switch is not pressed. So when we will press the switch, we can see that it is showing 12 volt. Okay, so okay, now when we will open the switch now you can see that our voltages are uh, dropping little by little why it is so because capacitor is discharging via 1000 ohm resistor when the switch is closed the power flows from battery to capacitor and when the switch is open the capacitor acts as a source of the voltage or power and it starts discharging via this 1000 ohm resistor and now you can see that our voltages are around 4.5. Now, uh, if we increase the value of the resistance, then we can see that capacitor will slowly discharge. Now, like, uh, wait, like uh, if we change the value of resistance to like uh, 10,000 ohm or 10k, then we can see that. Now we press the switch. Now the power is flowing from battery to capacitor. Capacitor is now charging. Now open it. Now you can see that it is. Yeah, now you can see a lot of. Uh, a lot of. Like uh, there is a slow discharging. Yeah. 
there is a very slow discharging and if we if we increase a lot a lot of resistance like uh, like 1000 K okay now now what will happen now we will see now you will see that the discharging will be very very slow Okay, now now you can see that discharging is super slow because we have increased the value of the resistor usually this is called as the timing circuit like a tie is equal to rc timing circuit if you increase the value of capacitor or the value of resistor both will contribute to more timing so hopefully you got the concept regarding how to use capacitor within the multi-sim. So thanks for visiting our channel.